Hey guys, Tad here with Kiss Organics. I'm here today to demonstrate for you the five gallon mini microbulator, which is a five gallon aerated compost tea brewer or bioreactor. It's got an airlift design and it was manufactured originally by Tim Wilson of Microbe Organics up in Canada. And he recently gave us the right to start making it here in the United States. So this is it here. It's a really simple design, very, very efficient and makes wonderful compost tea. And the reason we want to make compost tea ourselves is because we want it to be fresh. Uh, by making it yourself, you can ensure that you're getting good biological activity and diversity. When you buy stuff in the bottle, it's not going to have that same level of activity and diversity, and you're not going to get the same biomass. So really important that we make compost tea fresh, because what we're doing is creating nutrient cycling. We're extracting the microbes from our compost, adding a food source, and this just creates the optimal environment by getting the most oxygen uh, that we can into the water, which is where all those microbes are, because we want to select for aerobic microorganisms. So essentially, to use this brewer, I'm just going to set it down into the water, and I've already uh, dechlorinated this water by leaving it out. We just have chlorine here in the Seattle area, so I don't need to worry about chloramine. Uh, all I have to do is let it sit out, and this water's been sitting here for like four or five days because I've been so busy, but you can also run the brewer for uh, six to eight hours and that should take care of it as well. You can really usually smell the chlorine, which is a good way to tell if it's still in there. Or use uh, rainwater or some other source that's already had the chlorine or chloramine removed or never had it in the first place. All right, so I've just secured this unit to the bottom using a bungee cord that comes with it. It just holds everything in place. And then all I need to do at this point is plug it in to get it going. And I'm just gonna plug it in so you can hear about how loud it is. Now the air pump needs to stay above the height of the water. That's really important. So you can have it on a desk or somewhere nearby. Uh, it doesn't come with the buckets. It comes with everything else so we can ship it much more affordably. But it's really easy to pick up a, a bucket at Home Depot. This will work with any five gallon bucket. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in here and give you an idea of just how noisy it is. So you'll probably wanna run it in your garage or in your greenhouse, not necessarily in your kitchen or in your room. All right, so that's it running. And I'm just talking to give you an idea of the level of volume that you're hearing. You can stick something underneath the air pump to help reduce some of the air pump noise, but really most of the noise is just the water. Uh, it's really important that the water makes that noise because what it's doing is it comes out of here, it's breaking the surface tension of the water, which raises your dissolved oxygen levels. Now once it's running, if we want to use, if you have one of our brew kits, you're using our compost tea, it's really simple. All you have to do at that point is take it out. This is our food source here. This is the uh, micro catalyst and a small amount of organic alfalfa meal. And just take that and sprinkle it right into the water. And set that aside. And then the other part is the compost portion. So we've already pre-measured this. It's all ready for you to go. Uh, I've gone ahead and cut the, the cable tie that holds this closed. If you're using our other five gallon extended life system, you'll want to keep it in the mesh in the bag. But if you are using this system, you'll want to take it out. So all I'm doing now is dumping the compost into the bag, or into the bucket. And that's really all there is to it. I'm gonna let that go now for 24 to 36 hours and then I can apply it to all of my plants. The great thing about compost tea is you can't overwater it, you can't overuse it. Sorry, I think you can overwater, but you can't over apply it. And it's a wonderful way to get additional beneficial microbes right into the soil. There you go. If you have additional questions about compost tea, please check out our blog post. That's a 17 page guide that's free. It's right on our website on our blog. I'm gonna unplug that so you guys can hear me. I was just gonna say, we do have a compost tea guide available for free. It's a 17 page guide right there on our website so you can learn more about compost tea. Should answer any and all of your questions. I just wanted to give you an idea of the microbulator in action. All right, have a great day, thanks.